What is up guys, so graphics in here. Welcome to another video of the contemporary residential building. In the last video where I showed you how the entrance image was done, I added a voting for you guys to choose which image from those 8 you would like to see. And the winner as of today was the studio interior. I wasn't really planning to post any more time lapses from this project, aside from this one, unless you guys really want to. I have them all recorded, just gotta edit and publish. So let me know in the comments if you like to see more of it, or hit me up with suggestions of future tutorials or questions at o.graphics on Instagram. As always, the info from who design will be in the video description, it is the same project as last video, so the same architecture office. If you haven't seen the last one, make sure to go check it out after this one. So here's my process of building up this kind of image. First is to have a fairly good model on SketchUp and then use V-Ray to render a pretty basic render. I don't do much on the render engine because I feel like the time I spend on the settings plus the render time can be much well spent over Photoshop during the post-production. In this particular image, the base render came out being not so great, especially the lighting. Therefore, I had to do a lot of work around to fix that on Photoshop. So, as always, I fast forward this one because it took 1 hour and 40 minutes to complete. But feel free to use YouTube's built in feature to slow it down. These type of videos are great to see the process, how over time the image gets developed into the final product. The main focus is not to teach specific steps, but to get the overall view of it. Here are cool things you should look for in this video. Sometimes it is really hard to place stuff behind glass, especially if it has curtains over it. You're going to see me placing a vase with a plant on the balcony and how I could overcome that. Also the framing on the wall as you can see is empty. Sometimes I like to compose this over Photoshop, so I rendered just a simple glass material and made sure that on the render elements on V-Ray I activated the raw reflection, because then I could overlay that image on the art that was going to be chosen. And lastly, I swapped the carpet from this studio. What came out of the render looked awful, so I used the same technique that I used to insert grass, but with the new carpet texture. I also made sure that I got some over the dog that I placed at the end, so it looked more realistic. So this is it for me. Enjoy the video and if you've got any questions, drop them on the comment section and I'll reply as soon as possible. If you like the content that is being published here on All Graphics, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!
Thank you. 